Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, Travis, Danita, and Ruby. We're all headed to a catfishing tournament today, getting hooked catfishing tournament. Um, it's a mystery tournament. So they didn't disclose the location of the tournament to us until 12 hours before the tournament starts. Thinking behind that being that someone might be gaining an advantage by pre-fishing the tournament in the weeks leading up to it. Uh, I personally don't think that has as big of an effect as some other people do. And, um, I, I just, you know, I think it's like anything else. The more you work at your craft, the more you do it, the better you're going to get. So I think this is a way it's kind of, in my mind, you're trying to reward people that don't want to work at it as much. But that being said, um, I was pretty excited about this. The, the not knowing what was going on. I think it created a buzz amongst our tournament field who, by the way, are a group of excellent anglers. And uh, when you come out on top of a, a group of excellent anglers like, anglers like that, uh, it, it, it's got a little more meaning to it. It's, it's, a, it's a little more satisfying. So this, this tournament we're going into, we were all worried about the wind this week. The wind was supposed to be up in the 30s. And being out on a lake in Oklahoma with 30 mile an hour winds can be a dangerous situation. So our tournament director, Michael Price, he, he really had his thinking cap put on him for this one. He scheduled us tomorrow. Our tournament's going to be on a, a small section of a river. Um, the river is a, uh, it's a channel that is used for barges. One of the very few ones in Oklahoma like that. Never, we've never fished it. So last night, Danita and I spent um, a large portion of the night getting ready. We uh, we had to retie all our leaders and everything to get ready to river fish. Uh, we were on Navionics all night trying to figure out what we were going to do, what game plan we were going to come up with. Uh, we came up with we're going to try to target the mouths of creeks that dump into those that that section of river and uh the ledges that um that go with those miles of those creeks so that's our plan um we're headed over there it's a couple hours drive over there for us and you know even though it may not be our cup of tea um i'm still excited about it i'm still excited about it and i'm looking forward to it i like our game plan so stay with us and we'll see you just here in a little bit.
We're changing the weight. Yeah. I see how they're getting a, a wind was blowing the uh, line sideways and was dragging it. So you're putting bigger ones on? Yeah, I put some five ounces on these. On you this need to side. reel these up? No, I, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to leave them out for now. Okay. See if they. Get eight of them out here? I think we can. I'm gonna put one right there just in front of that in that shallow spot right there in front of that creek. And then we'll throw another one down this bank kind of right here. in it like that too so how'd I put those so you want five ounces on these huh. maybe we it need may to just tilt be this the, back the reel or something what's that I know we could just what do we got to do to tilt that loosen that Hold on to this right here. Grab a hold of this and hold it. Try to tilt it. No. There's one on this side. Oh, on this side. Take that one. Right there. That's good. Oh, we got a fish. What? We got a bite. Real down on him. Yeah, he ran all the way across, didn't he? Dang. Can you get this yellow pole out of my way? Keep fighting. Don't stop. If we get hung up, we get hung up. to come underneath. He's right here. Yep. Just get him off the back. It's a pretty good one. And we'll take him. It's all tangled up and all the shit. <laughs> yeah, we kind of got a mess going. We weren't ready for that. Okay, let's see. <laughs> I don't know where to put anything with such a mess. Yeah, let's but. get the fish out of here. He was in deep water, wasn't he? Head too. Get this out of the way. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the. I ain't gonna get skunked, Ted.
Oh, that was a bite. I thought so. That's a shallow one, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Tighten that one up too, it looks like. Got it? Yeah. Oh, we rolling. Hey, this oh. is a good fish. Oh, he went. Oh, no. Uh, pick the rods up right here. Pick these rods up. Under. Damn it. I just need to get him, yeah. Better? No, he's dead. Man. He's under, it's not the poles, he's underneath the. There. <sighs> Woo. All right. Uh oh, they just seen us pull that. I know, I was trying to get him in the floor. Okay, this one's free, isn't it? He come right out of the mouth of that creek. He was shallow. Okay. I'll twist it up. Okay. Stick that one back in there. Just stick it back and pull over. Are they part of the tournament? What? They're not part of the tournament, are they? Yeah, they're part of the tournament. They, they were in that boy and there was a boy and a girl in that boat that were sitting there. First time I ever seen that one though. How much of that one way? I don't know. Will they go 15? Oh, I brought the uh, the board too, whatever that board's called. Yeah. The, uh, Do you think he's 30? Bump board? I don't know. It's going to be close. Man, I thought we were going to lose him on those power poles. That was a cluster. You can't say that. <laughs> okay. Sixes. He just went too far. He went under too many lines to try to pole dance. Yeah. It's hard to fish with eight poles right here. That you were going to measure him. I'm going to measure him when we're done. I guarantee you he's over 30. Okay. He's 16 pounds. A little over 16.1 maybe. Okay. Probably by weigh in he'll be 16. Got him? He's on there. Didn't get a good hook set on him. Let's see. 
see where he's going to come up. I'm going to try to bring him right over here. Bring this pole over behind me. Go behind me. Uh, in the wrong way. Okay. Go under me. He ain't very big. Okay, now. now get this one over me. Oh, he's a good one. Got him. It's a good under. Oh, look at all that trash. Hopefully he's under. I think he is. He's pretty long and skinny Oh, uh, yeah, real. I, uh, guess. Oh, that one's gotta be tightened up. Yeah, I was working on it. I kind of tightened it when I put it in there. Okay. They're on the top of each other. Jerk. <clears throat> those are the right size of fish. Those are the type of fish you could have a big one in with these. Oh, I think I got them. I'm thinking he's an under. Uh, it looks like about a 29 incher. Well, let's hope so. I must have got part of a group text of some sort. Yeah, I'll turn your notifications off. Nine. Nine, nine. Did that and have fresh bait on it? What's that? Did that have fresh bait on it? Uh, yes, I believe it did. Let me try crappie. Uh, uh, no, one of them heads or rib cages of the ones we filleted. Now let's let's stay with a let's stay with the shad. Um. Okay, guys. What we got here is uh, we came down the river and just off to our, off to the uh, side of the boat over here is a, is a creek that's dumping into this river. And as we came by, um, we, we saw a little bit of something. We turned back and come over here and there's a drop off right behind us, a ledge. Just back of our boat sitting in about three foot of water and there's a ledge out there that drops off to 20 and there was, there was a lot of fish stacked up on that ledge. So. Uh, We've been here, I don't know, less than 30 minutes, and we've already put three fish in a box. It's a 16 pounder, a nine pounder, and then a small fish. So uh, just, just kind of keeping you up to date with what's going on. We need two more fish for our limit in our tournament. One more over 30, hopefully. Yeah. Oh, there's a bite. Oh, yeah. Just got one pole to go under? I think so, over. Or yeah. Hopefully I get him in here far enough we can just go behind me. Here, I'll just move it to the front. He's not as big. Nope. He's hooked good. Small fish, but we got four.
Yeah, we're kind of at a cross. Oh, fish. We're facing northwest. Little one. He didn't feel a little when I set the hook on him, but he might be running at me. Here, go behind me with this pole. This one? Yes. He is little though. He's a little bitty. I was going to say boat flip him, Travis. Yeah. <laughs> we can't boat flip after the old uh, channel cat incident. No more boat flipping. <laughs> Well, we got a limit, but he'll be the first one back. Yes. We got a limit. Oh, there's a bite. Same pole, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, he's on it. Yeah, he's got it. Running with it. Oh, he was wrapped in it. Which way did he go? It don't matter. He's a little bitty. Oh. Am I hung up in any of them other lines? Uh, can't tell at the moment. Channel cat. Oh, he's whisker hook too. Well, I don't think we need him, do we? Yeah, I think he's probably bigger than that blue. Here, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, now we're home. Okay. Let me just lift him out of here. Hold your net right there. Bring it to me. Okay. Turn your net down. I was confused about what you wanted me to do. I don't know. He's real close to being the same size as that blue. Look how he's hooked. Right through his whisker. Let's hope both of them go back. <sighs> Oh. Yeah, get him. Is he on it? Yeah. How does he feel? Oh, he feels bigger than those two little ones, I think. Okay. Maybe. Oh, yeah, now he's. Yeah, he looks like he got more bend to the raw. He's staying down, too. That's a better fish. No, yeah, no, it's not. Oh, he's bigger than those cha that channel cat, I think. Yeah, he's cool. <laughs> All right, all we can do is catch the ones that bite, right? I'm surprised he hit a bait that big. All right, they're getting that way up on each other now. Let's, let's make a run. Let's go down there and go through the lock. Shut up. Oh, here comes a barge. Are you serious? Yes. Holy shit. I didn't know they came that direction. I didn't either. I mean, he's got plenty of room to go around us. Oh, uh, no, he don't. He don't? I don't think. So. Well, he's like got to stay in the deep part of the river, honey. <laughs> you 
Just reel them up and leave them hanging in the pole holders. I'm trying to get these out of your way so you can get the anchor up. Holy shit, he's coming on, dude. Here you go. Oh. I gotta go loose in the front. Okay. Slow down. River fishing. <laughs> what if we wouldn't have turned around? I don't know. I don't know because I can't hear him. Whew. Let me get some of these poles put up. Oh, wow, well, he's three wide. Isn't yeah, he? yeah. That's what I'm saying. He's yeah. pushing three of them. Up. I thought he was three in a row. He's three wide. Uh -uh. I better get a picture of that. We almost got taken out by a barge. Hey, turn it around on our camera there and show what. There you go, folks. This is what came up behind us right here. We just happened to turn around in time, so we did a mad dash. Got the poles all in and the anchors pulled up. Barely. Wow, I can't believe he's got three of those side by side. Oh, and then he's He's three in the front and two in the back. Pushing five barges. And we almost didn't see him. He's so quiet. Did he come outside? Yeah, he came out and waved at us. I don't know if they all have different names, but if they don't, that's the same one that went north earlier. Probably. David Choate was the name on it. I don't know right if they- Right there. David Choate. Yeah. One of the people that make America go. These one of them guys ain't afraid to work on Saturday. <laughs> 